Hey friends, I was just admiring this chair that I salvaged off the street about two years ago now, maybe three years it's been, and I wove a plain weave stitch here to replace the cane seat that was all rotted out, busted out really, and with sisal twine, and it has held up fantastically. There's and, and really it's pretty darn tight, and I sit in this quite a bit and just, it's just a really beautiful antique chair. I mean, I know that this thing was handmade and uh, you know, sometimes you really luck out finding an antique on the street. People don't know what they have. And if you've got the creativity and the wherewithal to uh, restore it, and of course I did this liter literally uh, for pennies on the dollar because I did it myself with some uh, Sisal twine I got at the local hardware store. And man, this stuff is very rugged. Almost as rugged as cane, I, I think. But why I'm doing this video is I would like you to post um, some of your comments about your best street finds as far as antiques. You know, I kind of grew up having an eye for this stuff. Fortunately, I was raised to kind of do a lot of street finding and dumpster diving and stuff like that. And it really pays off because if you have an imagination, a little bit of creativity, you can have a nice piece of furniture like this and that people really comment on it because it's different. You know, it's not something that you're going to see all the time. And I would probably date this back to the early 1900s. Um, and all up in here, I've noticed is hand carved. And there's actually, it has a veneer. This is some kind of like cherry veneer because the wood under here is different. So really well thought out, and I'm sure some like antiques roadshow type person could tell me more about it, but it's been something that I've really enjoyed using through the years. Wanted to post an update about it. I'll post a link to how I did this uh, restoration of the seat in the description here. And thanks for watching, and I look forward to reading your comments below about your best antique street find.